Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are only going to evaluate the powers of i. Alright, let us start with i to the power of 3, 5, 2. The first thing we need to check is whether the power is a multiple of 4. And we can find that by dividing the power by 4. 3, 5, 2 divided by 4. 352 divided by 4 is equal to 88. This means that if you take 88 multiplied by 4, you're going to get exactly 352. So we can write this as i to the power of 4 raised to the power of 88. For loss of indices, you can just multiply the powers together to get this back. But we have learned that i to the power of 4 is equal to 1 and 1 to any power is the same thing as 1 therefore i to the power of 3 5 2 is equal to 1 let us take the next one the second one is i to the power of 2 5 3 i to the power of 2 5 3 let me confirm that yes next we're going to divide this power by 4 to confirm whether it is a multiple of 4. 2, 5, 3 divided by 4. 2, 5, 3 divided by 4 is exactly equal to 63 with a remainder of 1. This implies that if you take 63 multiply by 4, you're going to get 2, 5, 2 because we have a remainder of 1. So we can write this as i to the power of 2, 5, 2 plus 1. And from loss of indices, we can write this as i to the power of 2, 5, 2 multiplied by i to the power of 1, which we don't have to write. 2, 5, 2 is a multiple of 4, so this is equal to 1 multiplied by i, and this is equal to i. Therefore, i to the power of 2, 5, 3 is equal to i. The third one is i to the power of 2, 5, 8. First thing we need to check here is whether 2, 5, 8 is a multiple of 4. We say 2, 5, 8 divided by 4. 2, 5, 8 divided by 4 is exactly equal to 64, but with a remainder of 2. This means that if we multiply 64 by 4, we are going to obtain 2, 5, 6. So this can now be written as i to the power of 2, 5, 6 plus 2. From the same law of indices, this can now be written as i to the power of 2, 5, 6 multiplied by i to the power of 2. 2, 5, 6 is a multiple of 4. Therefore, i to the power of 2, 5, 6 is equal to 1. But i to the power of 2, remember, is negative 1. Therefore, 1 multiplied by negative 1 is equal to negative 1. i to the power of 2, 5, 8 is equal to negative 1. So now let us take the last one, which is i to the power of 4, 5, 1. i to the power of 4, 5, 1. First of all, let us check whether 4, 5, 1 is a multiple of 4. 551 divided by 4 is equal to 112 with a remainder of 3. If you take this, you multiply by 4, you are going to obtain 448. 448. Therefore, i to the power of 4, 5, 1 can now be written as i to the power of 4, 4, 8 multiplied by i to the power of 3. This is equal to i to the power of 4, 4, 8 is the same thing as 1. But what of i to the power of 3? i to the power of 3 can be written as i to the power of 2 multiplied by i to the power of 1, which we don't have to write the power. i to the power of 2 is negative 1, so this becomes 1 multiplied by negative 1 multiplied by 
i and this is equal to 1 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 1 negative 1 multiplied by i is negative i finally i to the power of 4 5 1 is equal to negative i and this is all i have for you today thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye